Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Hey! Today's vlog starting off a little differently. I need to go get my nails done because I've destroyed these. I did also get a Brazilian blowout two weeks ago, the same time I did my nails. So we'll just fast forward to that vlog. So I decided we'd do the blowout because I really liked it. It lasted so long the first time I did it. And Kareem is the best. I know my hair looks super flat. The treatment's still in my hair. He told me I can leave it in for like one or two days. I will probably get it removed tomorrow. I'm not going to tie it up. I don't want to create any kinks or anything. The only issue I have with the Brazilian blowout is that my hair gets super greasy really fast. I'm going to have to control that somehow. So if anyone has a recommendation on what the best dry shampoo is, let me know. I've also got a bit of a skincare bit coming up in this video, as well as a potential unboxing. A lot of people come here for vlogs and not really unboxing videos but then like some people who only watch unboxing videos are like why did you unbox this i've actually got the heating on it's pretty cold in dubai these days what's the temperature 24.5 degrees i'm cold it dropped to about 16 yesterday 16 degrees celsius which is shocking okay so nails are done big apple red i think this is an opi shade now i'm gonna go grab a coffee maybe do an unboxing but first we need to do skincare if you guys haven't already seen my skincare routine i did like a quick one after i came back from the desert my skin was screaming it's doing a lot better i just actually have been suffering from a few i believe these are hormonal breakouts because you know it's my time of the month when my time of the month comes around or when i feel like my skin is really clogged and like stuffed with like dirt impurities and I can't get an appointment at Biolite. You know how difficult it is around the Christmas period. Everyone wants a facial. I go in with my favorite Teamy Blends Green Tea Detox Mask. I apply it with my fingers. I absolutely love this. I literally put it all over my face and this is organic, it's natural and it's super safe for sensitive skin. I have really sensitive skin and this genuinely helps to declog my pores. As you guys can see, I've also got a bit of redness. That's because I've had a lot of skin issues in the past. I still do suffer with a lot of skin problems. I don't really suffer from acne, but I have this issue where I break out in like small bumps. It's not like cystic acne, it's more bacterial kind of fungus acne, which isn't great. Having a really good clean skincare routine is important. Which is why I love this mask so much. It's I love green tea. This also has lemongrass in it, which is really refreshing and cooling. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it is a clay mask. Clay masks are great for just ridding your pores of any kind of impurities. I do this like twice a week, thrice a week, or whenever I feel really necessary. Like if I've been wearing makeup a lot, like I have this week, I'll go in with this two, three times a week just to make sure that my pores don't get clogged and I'm not suffering. It's gonna dry, I leave this on for about 10, 15 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes and as you guys can see, the clay is dry. I'm gonna wash it off, pat dry, never rub. Especially if you have sensitive skin and suffer from redness, wow. My skin already looks so much clearer. It's fantastic. I mean, obviously there's still redness, but you have to use this regularly. The mask is great for improving texture, skin tone, discoloration, redness. And for me, mainly, is the bumps. This really helps clear your pores and get rid of the bacteria, the dirt that's in your pores, which kind of create the bumps, so very important. Once your pores are now open and clear, you can start by injecting them with good things like serums. I'm gonna start off with my vitamin C serum from Teamy as well. And make sure you guys watch till the end because I will be giving you guys a discount code. You can either get 20% off or if you spend $100, you can get 50% off. So this is the Teamy vitamin C serum. It's infused with three super ingredients, which is vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and hibiscus flower. All three of these ingredients make up this fantastic product, which is not only amazing for anti-aging, but really good for brightening, tightening, and your overall complexion. It smells so good, and this will infuse really nicely into your skin. Don't forget that neck. A lot of people forget to put product on their neck, but your neck is one of the first places where you'll see signs of aging. So always important to include your neck in everything you do. And the excess I just put onto the backs of my hands because also hands show aging. Now, wow, glowy, 
a uh, this is such a fabulous product and combined with the green tea mask wow you guys want to get 50% off teamy blends when you spend hundred dollars use this code here or you can actually get 20% off the entire website using this code here there is also a link down in the description box below. This is the Teamy Green Tea Detox Mask. I've been using this for literally two, three years now. You would have seen it in my previous video in London. I loved it so much. I continue to use it and I'm so glad that they sponsored this video. And of course, the new addition into my skincare routine is this amazing vitamin C serum. Everyone needs hyaluronic acid in their life. Okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna quickly show you guys my Amina Moadis that I got. But we'll skip to like the vlog bit there. In fact, I don't think I've really vlogged it. I basically ordered the Amina Moadi's collaboration with, who was it? ASAP Rocky? A-W-G-E or something. No idea about anything. <laughs> Chai, leave. Good girl. Then here we have the AW, whatever it was, collaboration with Amina Mawadi. Ow. They're a really lovely black PVC. And they've got this detailing on the bow front. It's quite cool. It actually really looks, it looks really nice in the evenings. You can see it like glisten. This isn't the most supportive strap, but I got them in a size. So I got these in size 36 which is half size bigger than what I usually get, but I feel like with sling bags you should get one size or like half size up. But they are so comfortable, like I can't tell you how comfortable these shoes are. They're literally as comfortable as a Manolo, so if you're tossing up between the two, get both. I've just got to the Dior VIP, VIP suite for the sale today. I'm really excited, it is actually the 11th and the sale becomes official on the 14th. I was a little hesitant about this piece, but I kind of love it. Like it's like scarf jacket. And I mean, it doesn't go all the way around. It's literally just a scarf, but wow. It's like wool cashmere. I don't know what it is, but it feels so lovely. And I feel like if you just put a belt on and wrap it like kind of round, this would be so cute. Like, yes, it's such a vibe. Ooh. My mother would be so proud. <laughs> Their blazers are just beautiful. Obviously, this one would have to be taken in. I don't have a grey blazer. I should have worn black jeans today. <laughs> okay, I think this is the piece that I'm going to pick up today because I remember seeing this a few months ago when they first introduced this piece i think it was part of the winter collection if i'm not mistaken i love it i just love the classic dual cuts like it's stunning okay guys so they pulled out a special piece to show me and they've given me some time to think about it because there is a client coming tomorrow who saw the bag yesterday so she's coming tomorrow to pay for it but if i decide to take it today they'll give it to me so here we have the Himalayan saddle bag, the mini size. It is such a beautiful bag, honestly, but I don't think I can justify it because I don't really wear my Lady Dior enough. I just got home. I think I'm going to go through what I got quickly. I'm going to get my tripod. The lighting isn't great, but I might potentially wear something that I bought today, tonight. <laughs> okay, the lighting is actually so ghastly. Like, it's actually awful. But anyway, let's just quickly go through this because... I need to shower, get ready, and find something to wear, most importantly. As I said, they weren't allowed to give me the sale items today because the official sale launches on the 14th. Today is the 11th. By the time you see this, it'll probably be 2021. I'm not even joking. It probably might just be. Okay, so these are the trousers. So I got them in a size 36 and these are like the classic Dior print. They don't actually match the pajama shirt that I got. That's got like a Zodiac print. Although I did want the matching set, I think I might wear these tonight. I'm not 100% sure. 
I'm trying to figure out what bag I'd wear with these. Maybe the Chanel pearl bag, but I did wear that last night. I could get away with the navy blue Chanel bag, but that's a bit boring. I don't even know if these will fit. I feel like the waist is going to be a bit large, but I, unless I wear them low-weighted, but then whatever. Anyways, let's see what else I got. Ooh, okay. Then, okay, I picked up a Dior belt. I don't know why I didn't have one of these. It's the Christian Dior, just a really small classic gold belt. I got it to wear like with my bar jackets and like the little waistcoat things that I've got. It's subtle, it's not like super in your face, it's not like a Gucci belt or like an Hermes belt. And then as I was leaving, he pulled out three items for me to look at, which I was like walking out the shop and I was like, where do you think you're going with those? And he's like, to you. And I was like, huh. I mean, that is the right answer, but also the wrong answer. Unfortunately, they didn't have my size in all the pieces that I wanted. So I only managed to pick up the bra. Oh, I actually could wear this with the trousers together. Or is that an overkill? Maybe with like a white shirt or something on top. But I got the bra in size medium. This isn't, it's like knitted. It's not actually like a swimming costume. I am waiting on the shorts though. The little briefs are something I absolutely love. I don't mind it too much. I really like it. Okay, I'm gonna go for a shower, wash up, change my makeup, refresh myself and get ready. Maybe I'll show you my outfit once I'm done. It's an update on these trousers, guys. It's the next morning. I didn't end up wearing them because A, they were too big and uh, B, Chai pissed on them. <laughs> so yeah, they're gonna go for dry cleaning. This is the package that I got yesterday morning. I think I ended my last vlog with a new pair of shoes, but I might just end up putting that in the beginning. I don't know. 